What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. Feel, don't think. Fear is my ally. The Force will be with you. We are encouraged to love. Be mindful of your thoughts. I will not betray the Republic. Hey, Your Worship, I'm only trying to help. Scruffy-looking nerf herder! I'm not afraid. You must unlearn what you have learned. Welcome back to the cantina. This is Stephanie Janicek, your friendly neighborhood bar manager. You know the rules, no droids, no bounty hunters, no Raylos, no Ray Nobodies, no sequel trilogy fans of any kind. Um, allergies are bothering my eyes right now, so they're a little bit like, anyway, uh, and I don't take anything for it because it makes me crazy. I don't like taking Claritin, so this is me right now. Anyway, um, Got up early this morning to go to the Reading, Pennsylvania World War II fly-in. And while I was getting ready, um, I saw that the Acolyte uh, audience score went down on Rotten Tomatoes to 27. So I was starting to think about foment a, a video in my head, a topic. And then I was also noticing that, there, that the Kennedy's minions were toting the acolyte viewership numbers now i want to get into that okay but i want to get into the fact that while i was coming back from the fly-in uh the acolyte numbers uh, audience score numbers fell again here you go so i knew it was going to go down more from the 27 percent but not as fast. That's literally six hours. All right. So, how do we? What do we look at this? Well, this is the audience score, and it's being attacked for review bombing. Okay. This this is what I'm sure Kennedy's uh, cronies at Lucasfilm are saying is that it's it's being review bombed. If if it was the opposite, if it was ninety five. And we were saying it was re being review bombed. They would be laughing at us. They know perfectly well it's not. So they came out in, in the uh, trade saying that it reached 4.8 million views. Disney did that with Ahsoka. And then the views were wound, wound down later. I would say that this is probably going to end up being... Uh, probably a million views. And of course, Bob Iger's nowhere to be found because he's he was in Britain this last week getting an honorary knighthood, uh, Knight of the British Empire from Prince William, the Prince of Wales. And now he's in Japan uh, cutting uh, a ribbon on a park expansion uh, in Tokyo. So now this PR battle's going on. And you guys know that the audience score was taken down at 56%, and then they put it back up, and it plummeted to 32%, and now it's at 26%. And the um, defenders of the Kathy Faith, the, the, the cult that she has around her, and Leslie Headland, are screaming that it's being review bombed. This is the same shit they pulled when The Last Jedi came out. Nobody, I mean, look, if you look at the discrepancy between what the idiot critics like and what the audience likes, it's it's like, it makes the chasm in the Grand Canyon look like a, a mud puddle, okay? Tiny, okay? 
And the reason why is because these people are disconnected from the audience. They're disconnected from what people want to see. And, you know, the fact that, the fact that it, was, it was taken down and then put back up says both Iger and Favreau wanted it up there. Just like they wanted people to be able to see the dislikes. And they left the comments up because they want to make a point. Okay. And they don't care what Kennedy thinks. They don't care what Leslie Headland thinks. Those two women have, you know, this is, this is fuck around and find out for both of those women. All right. Now, Kennedy will say it's very hard for women to navigate this franchise because it's a male dominated franchise. And I say it's hard for a woman like you to navigate a franchise like this because you don't know how to deal with men. Okay, you know, she doesn't know how to, she doesn't, first off, she doesn't like anything that they're doing. If she did, Phoebe Waller-Bridge never would have been hired for Indiana Jones on the Dial of Destiny because she's an unlikable smug bitch. And Ray never would have been a protagonist, okay? But she even says, I have the video where she says they wanted all the protagonists to be women. And it's like, it's not the, the, the quali quantity, it's the quality. And you've got 75,000 different females running around and they're all idiots. Poorly written, schlock, okay? You know, I just, I'm like, what, what are we, it's one of those things where you're looking at her going, you're not the person to, to work at this job. You, it's, it's way over your pay grade. This is the Peter Principle on steroids. And then you've got Leslie Hadland who hates George Lucas, who hates Star Wars. And, you know, she, I mean, she out now calls him a misogynist, probably because the Slave Leia outfit made her, made Carrie look so cool. Now the boys wanted her, and if anybody saw Wretched Leslie in that, they'd be gagging, okay? I mean, that's that's what's going on here. It's a bunch of insecure one females. One is bone skinny but angry, and the other one's a fat cow. Let's talk more. This is like what we understand to be Star Wars, like the idea that like that only came from George Lucas, that that like that only George Lucas holds the key for what we understand to be Star Wars is just untrue. And I think the, the prequels are an ex excellent example of that. I mean, the idea that like when you're hiring a director, that everyone is sitting in there waiting for George Lucas and not for the person who's going to know to hire Ralph McQuarrie, that's the problem. That's the misogyny and the, and the, and the problem with the auteur myth as it stands today because they're not thinking this is the person that will hire the right people and this is the person that will be able to create the lookbooks and direct people to get them to that place they're just thinking do you know do you have all the answers and the truth is is that nobody does and anybody that says they do feels sometimes like well i like this thing and i don't like that thing and and if you don't like the act like that's fine it doesn't matter like the, the reality is is that star wars in and of itself is not just a vast universe full of many different characters many different eras but it is always 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 about the spiritual 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 journey of what it is to become who you are. And that's why I am so, so overwhelmed and grateful to be here and beyond overwhelmed and grateful to be allowed as a filmmaker to experience what it is like to actually tactilely make something in this world. Um, that is beyond my wildest dreams and I, I can't wait to show you guys more. I wish I could. Uh, the force, nobody understood the force. Nobody, you know, what they do is, and then they started other ones when I sold the company and they, uh, you know, a lot of those ideas that were in there sort of got lost, but uh, that's the way it is. Because this is, could be a key character. You know, the critics kept saying, well, there's no, what we mean is there's uh, no black people in the movie. In the second one, I had, you know, Billy Dee Williams, and in the new ones, which they were also criticizing, you know, I had Sam Jackson. He was like a, one of the top Jedi. He was like a and he wanted it to be in it so bad that all he really wanted was a purple sword. <laughs> and so I said, great. It's a small part. It's the best I can do. I may be able to... I think there was an assumption being made for quite a while that girls didn't care about Star Wars or that girls weren't 
identifying with characters like Luke Skywalker or Han Solo. They were only identifying with Princess watch The Hate You Give, what, what do you want them to walk away with? Because I know everyone has a slightly different feeling. Um, well, I mean, White People Crying actually was the goal. Um, <laughs> we... <laughs> it was the goal. You just killed a whole Death Star. How many people died? I did get in trouble for this answer at Star Wars <laughs> Con. I got, I got heat. Yeah. And in my mind, it's so funny because it literally, as a person who was outside and just a fan coming in, that was what was so beautiful and interesting to me. You know, People have been talking to me online about how Darth Vader is such a bad person. It's very clear, and it's very well established from those actions. But if you can't look and see that Anakin blowing up the Death Star possibly killed millions and millions of people, I'm going to get in trouble for saying this <laughs> right now. Um, get out. Be here all night. Get out. So this is the thing: is there's a PR war going on between Kennedy's people and Iger and Favreau's people. And with Iger being gone overseas, you know, not being able to go like, uh, no, you can't put this out there, it's not true. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's interesting to me. When, when, the, when the rats, when the cats away, the mice play. And I find it, Kind of sad in some ways that that they think that they can get away with this because look, John Favreau knows the only reason why those numbers which aren't real. Trust me, when Samba TV gets back to it and they get the they get the numbers, they're probably gonna roll it back to about a million million viewers. All right, um, and that's what's gonna happen. Okay. Um, sorry. I mean, no one. Look, when there's what well, either 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 those those view those viewers are right, or the audience score is right. But the fact of the matter is, the people that are are defending the trash light are calling the the twenty six percent review bombing. It's a knee jerk reaction, and they like I said, they did it before. With this is. With, the, with the, the Last Jedi. This is The Last Jedi literally over again, okay? And the people defending this cannot handle the truth. Have you ever met anybody like that, a woke asshole, who can handle men are men, women are women? There you go. There is no such thing as, as 75,000 different genders, okay? No, uh, you can think you're a cat, but you're not a cat. You're mentally ill. Okay, you can think you're a dog, you're not a dog, you're mentally ill. And to a guy that looks like Harvey Weinstein, who decides he wants to use the women's bathroom, so he says, I'm a woman. No, you're not. You're a guy. Look, at, look like Dylan Mulvaney and still a guy. Okay, um, you know, we've got a really, really screwed up uh, culture right now that there in some places enables it, okay? I'm not gonna get into it, but there's some, I've been one example just recently of that, and as far as enabling unhealthy lifestyles, obesity, okay, we're looking at two obese people right here, all right? I mean, what are you gonna do, all right? Um, you know, you can't tell them the truth, Kath, you know, Les, you're obese. You need to, to, take, to take care of that, okay? You know, they don't want to hear about it. They, the body positivity is a lie. It, it just basically tells girls they can be unhealthy, okay? It's just like this, this audience score, 26% at the, um, for the trash light. It's review bombing. It's not real. Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Just like the... Audience score for the for the last Jedi is real, okay, and you know their excuse is, well, the only score that matters is the critics. No, the score that matters are the people who are going to sit down in their houses and watch it with their phones, their TVs, their smart TVs, their computers, okay, and if they don't come back to watch it, episode three, then you've got a problem. They don't come back 
And if they don't come back to watch episode four, because episode three basically is a dumpster fire, they've got a problem. I mean, I don't think there are people that are going to be watching probably for hate clicks. And if they did, um, you know, they're going to Rotten Tomatoes and other aggregate uh aggregate sources and putting their their opinions on and clicking all the right buttons that's not good no we saw it it was shitty we're not coming back there you go all right there you go i mean there you can't tell me that when someone who actually works in movies and works in tv says you can tell where headland was filming and where Favreau took over. Because hers is so amateurish. Okay, it is absolutely, you know, obvious. She doesn't need to be part of this franchise. And Kennedy is the idiot. This is her thing. Iger didn't hire her. All right, and God knows how the Brit- British government got involved. I mean, that's the thing. It's like, why would they care about this? This is trash. But here we are. Okay. So we are having a PR war over numbers. 91%. It fell down to uh, a point on the critics score too. Um, to 26%. All right. This is not a review bomb. Okay. That, that, that doesn't happen. And it's not the Russians. Okay. It, it's not people leaving fake reviews, okay? Stop it. We're dealing with reality now, not, you know, left-wing conspiracy theories, okay? It, this is real. It, 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 it's not a good show, all right? And it undermines the prequels, which is what Headland wanted to do, okay? And that is a really shitty thing to do to George. But she's a shitty human being, so there you go. Okay, so I look at the, re- the the Rotten Tomato score. I look at what people have told me that have seen it, that don't like it, that hate it. I look at people who are screaming that, oh, that 4.8 million people watched it. That's not a good number, by the way. All right, that's not, it's, that number could be round down to below a million by the time we get to the end of this. And they know it, all right? They're trying to get ahead of the narrative, and it's not going to happen. And that's what's going on. Meanwhile, you know, Iger might be coming back from Japan. I don't know. But this, this, is, this is bullshit uh, jockeying for a narrative by Kennedy's uh, people and Hedlund's friends because... They're terrified it's not going to get a second season, and it won't. In fact, after the third episode, I would pull it. I wouldn't even let anybody see the rest of it. Or I would pull it, I'd dump them all out, and then pull it by August. Because the episode three is going to piss so many people off. There you go. So anyway, I got to run, and this is Steph signing out. See you around the galaxy.